Hey guys, we are headed out to the beach. It's just me and dad in this car. <laughs> hey guys. Caroline, Isaac, and Judah are in the car behind us. Jamie's not getting to come. He's staying to work. Um, so we are headed to the beach. But before we left this morning, last night, I filmed this video for you. And this is a video that you guys suggested. Um, you suggested I try cauliflower to replace my mashed potatoes. So I tried it last night. And that's what this video you're about to see is going to be. It is... It was absolutely delicious. Thumbs up. Yes, he, he gave it a thumbs up. Isaac gave it a thumbs up. We loved it. There are a few things I would do differently. Um, mine was a little bit watery, so I would work harder getting the liquid out. And I probably need a food processor to blend it good. She's um, got one. I, yeah, I have one from the 1960s. But anyway. It works. He paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. One dollar. <laughs> so, and it wasn't a yard sale. It was an auction sale. Oh, it was an auction sale. Get it right. Anyway, so this is what you're about to watch. And let me just say, it was absolutely delicious, but there are a few things I would change. I made a mess trying to blend it with my hand mixer. Ugh. But it's, it, only, only because it's a texture thing, yeah. because of the cauliflower, it doesn't break down too well with just a, a hand blender. And so you need the processor. Because of the graininess, if that's even a word, the graininess of the cauliflower, oh, you, you need a little food processor or a magic bullet or something. It was still so creamy and really delicious. Good, really it, was it was worth it. Amazing. So this is a video that you guys suggested and it was a success. We're off to the beach. I will see you guys um seeing you today on Saturday, but I'll see you again on Monday. Hey, before we go. Remember Arnold Schwarzenegger? Swar or Arnold, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Just like he told his mistress one time. We'll be back. <laughs> oh my word. Bye y'all. Hey guys and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I am so glad you all are with me today. The last video I did, which was the radishes for roasted potatoes, was such a hit. And I got so many comments about trying the cauliflower for mashed potatoes. Got so many of those comments that that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to try it for the first time with you guys and we'll see if it's like my I hope it's just like mashed potatoes. I cannot hardly wait. So stay tuned. That's what we're trying tonight. guys let's get the elephant out of the room yes I know I have on the ugliest dress ever known to man <laughs> this is my house dress this is my um, I'm hot as blazes dress y'all it is so hot here it is crazy hot I mean I can't even get over how hot it is and we're getting ready to go on vacation. I'm doing laundry. My laundry is out there in like a sauna porch that's not air conditioned. And it's awful. So I'm trying to stay cool the best way I can. Y'all, I, I reached 2,000 subscribers the other day. I'm peeling off the edges of this cauliflower. And I did a giveaway. And I haven't announced the winner yet. That The winner will be announced when I get back from vacation. But, um, I said the next giveaway will be at 5,000. Well, y'all, I'm almost at 5,000. <laughs> so, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the 2,000 and then doing the giveaway for the 5,000, probably all in the same video. So, but that is a great thing. I appreciate y'all so much. So, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just working on this cauliflower. I've got me a little strainer because I'm going to rinse my cauliflower off and I'm just going to cut it up into little flowerettes. I'm getting these outside leaves off basically is what I'm doing and then I'm going to cut them down into smaller flowerettes. You know I'll just break them apart into little flowerettes. I'm going to put them in this. 
going to wash them up and rinse them off. And then I'll bring you back once I get all this done. Y'all, it's so hot here. I can't even stand it. So hot. But I'll bring you back just as soon as I get all this off and in here and washed. Okay, guys, I'm bringing over my last batch that I have rinsed off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just do like I would potatoes. I'm going to put a little salt water in here, and I'm going to boil it. I don't think it'll take near as long as potatoes do, so that's another plus to this. Um, so we're going to get it ready. Normally, or not normally, I haven't ever done this, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to steam this. And I thought I had a steamer pot that kind of went in the double boiler. Um... But I guess I didn't get a steamer pot with my um, my cookware set. So, I'm not going to steam. <laughs> that was my plan. But um, just, just to help get rid of the moisture out of the cauliflower when it's all said and done. Um, I don't want it too thin. And for some reason in my mind, I've got it, like, uh, in my mind, I think it might be too thin. So, I was just trying to reduce the liquid on the cauliflower some. But that's okay. I'll just drain it really, really, really good. I don't have a colander either. My colander broke all to pieces. And so now i got to get me a new colander. <laughs> so I'm going to have to strain it or drain it very carefully. <laughs> so anyway, y'all come back. We are doing another potato dish and another healthy dish. I'm telling you, I promise there's going to be some unhealthy good old country cooking coming. I promise. I promise, I promise. But right now, I'm just still trying to get my mind wrapped around this uh, healthy stuff and learning new recipes. So we're trying this one. So as soon as I get it going and we get it soft enough, I'll bring you back and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next. Okay guys, I have drained the cauliflower as good as I can get it. And I'm gonna, I have some butter here. I'm gonna put some butter in here. guys we're in our tiny kitchen trying to cook together I'm gonna put a little bit of heavy cream because I'm out of milk all right we're gonna see how this goes oh. most people I saw on Pinterest and and other where I looked it up, used a um, food, processor. food processor. I, however, I'm not. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. Let's use a whisk. What about your old Mac? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's it need, Dad? Maybe a little salt. It may be a little too soft? No, it may need a little salt. Oh, salt, yeah, I know it. I'm sure it needs salt. And it might not have needed the heavy cream. I don't know, we'll see. Do they give me cooked vegetables? They probably do. He's slicing up zucchini and... I'm doing a vegetable medley because I'm grilling out steaks tonight. Could they hear me? Did y'all hear him? Tell me what I said. He's grilling out vegetables. He's doing a mixed vegetable medley because he's grilling out steaks tonight. Yeah, you said I was grilling out vegetables. Well, you are. Right? Yeah, on my black top grill. Yes, on his Father's Day present. Okay, this is not as smooth as I want it, but I'm going to give you guys a taste. Let's see if we can taste it. Did you hear me say I was going to give you guys a taste? <laughs> okay. This may take some rework. This may take some rework? I would actually taste really good. Yeah, it's got good flavor. 
Here, we're family and we're the only ones eating out here, so I'm going to let him taste it. Oh, that is good. That's really good. <laughs> now, I think I do need a food processor. You're still surprised. I am surprised, actually. That's really good. I think I need a food processor. Here, I'm going to get you over here where the light's not. I think I need a food processor, and I need to have drained it better. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. Um, got a little bit too much liquid, and I knew that was going to be an issue because that's what I read. That's what everybody said. Well, if you read it and they said it, why didn't you drain it? Well, I did drain it, but everybody said to use a towel and rule, squeeze it. Rule and breaker. I just didn't. Rebel. Want, we're going on the beach. We're going to the beach, and I didn't want to take a towel and squeeze it, and then have a nasty towel that I couldn't get washed and. So, um, but I think that's a must. But y'all, they are really good. That is really, really good. And let me tell you what else I did. I cooked it probably a little bit longer than I should have because uh, my husband was working at the farm getting us ready to go on vacation because the ha farm has to be ready for us to get chickens back. Yeah, and I was the only one working. And he was working on that. The only one working. And he was not, I was here working. Only one working. Anyway. It's my oil for my grill. So, I had, had to wait for him to come home. And so they stayed cooked. Stuff. They were cooked probably a little too long too. Is my beard getting gray? Yes, it's getting well, gray. Look at there, I'm getting older. I made um, some trash. <laughs> Those of you that don't know what trash is, aka party mix. No carbs. Yeah, it's got carbs. This will be my biggest temptation on yes, vacation. What's your steak, Japanese style or American style? Do what? What's your steak, Japanese style or American style? However you're going to do yours. We got mashed potatoes. We better do American. Actually, we don't have mashed potatoes. We have mashed cauliflower. But y'all, I think the cauliflower is going to work. I need to do some more work on it. I need to, um, I, I need to do this tw squeezing it with a towel and getting all the liquid out. Um, I need to not cook it quite as long because I did. I I turned it off, but I just left it sitting there in the hot water, and so it may have, you know, I don't know. But anyway, it's really good. The flavor is delicious. Oh my goodness, I could definitely, I could definitely switch potatoes out for the cauliflower if I can find an easier way to get it fixed and made. So, that being said, the cauliflower was a hit and I'm eating carbs. <laughs> you forgot a steak. Anyway, y'all have a great day. I have... I have a health update video coming. It'll probably come sometime while we're on vacation. And um, if you're eager to know, I posted a little something about it on the Farm and Pastor's Wife Facebook page. Um, so you can go there, and if not, just wait for the video to post from the beach. We will try to post while we're at the beach. May not be every. It may not be Monday. Thursday and Saturday, but we will try our best to get something posted every day. Um, or not every day. The days that I post, I'll try to do something, even if it's just a quick, short video, a hello um, from the beach. So, anyway, y'all have a great, great night. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Y'all try this cauliflower for mashed potatoes. It is delicious. Give me some tips and tricks on how you do it. Leave me a comment below on how you fix yours and how you get it um, smooth and, and not quite as liquidy. I may have put too much heavy cream too, but I think it was, I think it's the liquid that was left in it. But y'all, that's some good stuff. I could eat that, like really. In fact, I'm going to eat that. So y'all have a great night. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife, and I will see you guys next time. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. And if the oven's hot enough, you can bake it as well. Bye, y'all.